Hey guys, it's Winterwolf and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I've posted a video. Um, so I'm excited to do a voiceover for this one and like actually upload a video, but I will say that it's been a while. Like it feels really weird to be doing a voiceover right now. <laughs> Almost like I've just completely forgotten how to do them. So if I'm like stumbling through things or like repeating things, I'm sorry, but I'm just, I'm not used to it anymore. I've forgotten how to do voiceovers. Um, but yeah, so we're working on a kind of lake house build. Originally, I wanted this to be kind of a vacation home, but I ended up decorating it as if it was a regular home, like it's really lived in. So it's not a vacation home, but it, it was originally supposed to be. So I don't really know what happened. I think I just had too much fun cluttering things and I was like, eh, now it's a house. So yeah, it's based off of this reference picture that's in the top left corner. And I don't know, I just really liked how rustic it looked and I really wanted to play around with pawns. So I was like, why not do this build? It looks okay. And yeah, so that's the uh, plan today. But I hope you guys are doing well. Like I said, it's been so long since I've talked to you guys. I'm really sorry. I have still been streaming. I just haven't been streaming Sims. I don't know. There's a few reasons. Like I haven't played Sims very much. I only recently got back into building, like I think a couple days ago I finished this build, but this was a build that I started over a month ago that I just never finished. So it's definitely been a while since I played The Sims. And I don't know, I just, I got bored of the content that was coming out with The Sims. Like I just, nothing was really pulling me back in. Um, High school years was cool and stuff, but I don't know. And the kits were like whatever, but even I wasn't that excited for the newest kits that came out, so... It, I just didn't get drawn back in, and so I just kind of left The Sims for a little bit. And I also learned that for a while I just, just stopped liking streaming Sims content. And the reason for that was, for a while, it just took me so long to make decisions. <laughs> like, I would send, I would spend like 15-20 minutes deciding on a specific furniture piece or like wall color, and I'd like get stuck. And usually when I get stuck, I like take a break, I walk away and then I come back to it later. But when you're streaming, you like, you can't really do that because then you're not streaming Sims anymore and then I'm like doing something else and then I just never come back to the build. So that is kind of why I haven't been very active. I've also just been really busy. I've had like other work stuff to do in like, you know, the real world. <laughs> So editing videos for myself had become a priority and I just kind of focused on streaming because at least that I could keep consistent and had like motivation to do and I was like doing things that I liked. So yeah, which by the way, if you guys aren't following my Twitch channel and want to, it's 3-1 Winterwolf 3-1 and we play all sorts of games there. We go from, like I said, we used to play Sims, although I haven't played Sims for a little bit, but we're currently playing Jurassic World, which is really fun. Um, we also finished Alice Madness Returns recently. We play Seven Days to Die, Valorant, Dead by Daylight, Overwatch. We're kind of all over the place on Twitch. So if you guys ever want to check out some variety gaming, then that's where you'd have to go. And I also have a variety YouTube channel that I started called Wentor, which I'll link in the description box if you guys want to check that out. It's like has edited VODs and stuff. So if you guys don't want to like sit and watch me play things live, but you want to like be caught up or something or get content from it, that would be where you would go. So yeah, um, I do kind of copy this build pretty, and well, I copy the exterior almost exactly, I feel like. Um, you'll see at one point that this house is facing the wrong direction, and the reason I did that was just because the lighting was better in the back side of the lot, so when I was building the front, I actually rotated it to be on the back side just so that it had better lighting for the video, and also just in general, like, building and building in bad lighting is always gross, which... I wish The Sims prioritized more with, like, good lighting. I know this is, like, supposed to be a realistic game or whatever, but good lighting is important. I also wish that you could, like, set the front side of lots because sometimes the front of the lot doesn't make sense or, like, you build it so that it doesn't make sense and then you're like, dang, it looks so weird on the gallery. So that's something I wish we could do, but unfortunately it's not a thing. Um, I spent a lot of time working on this path and I struggled with it and it changes a lot. You'll also see that, um... A fair amount of footage got cut from this, and there's actually some spots that I didn't even record because this build took so, so long um, that I didn't record everything. And even when I sped up, like, I think this is sped up to, like, 900%, and it's still really slow, and it's still 30 minutes long. So I had to cut out a lot of footage. I, I think it was 40 minutes long when it was at 900%, and then I just, like, cut out a bunch of stuff. 
So you will see that some parts are missing. I think the floor plan is one thing that I didn't really show as much. I don't remember. Um, but things that I like went back and forth on a lot or like little things that didn't matter. I just kind of deleted or like didn't even bother recording. I think I didn't record the gym. I like put a gym in this build and I believe that that was a last minute decision. Like originally I had the gym in the garage and then I moved it into the house because I had an extra room and I didn't know what to do with it. I don't think I recorded it though because I was actually a... Uh, I was in Discord talking to someone and they made me paint the gym red, which is a gross color and I hate it. But <laughs> I was like, all right, we'll try it out. So if you guys hate the red gym, just know it wasn't my choice. It wasn't. I didn't do it. But if you love it, also still not my choice. I would never paint a gym red and what is wrong with you? I don't know. Red is like my least favorite color. I've just never been a fan of red. It's so aggressive. <laughs> it's like, it's like angry colors to me. Like that's like angry colors. I don't like it. I also spent a long time on this landscaping, as you can see, individually placing each and every rock for like an hour. So that's a good portion of this footage as well. I just wanted to make this place look really nice and I love playing with ponds and like, I think my favorite part of landscaping, honestly, is landscaping around ponds and like putting rocks down and plants and trees and all that kind of stuff. So this was a lot of fun. I did not realize how much time it took though. The fact that you guys are watching me place down rocks individually. I probably could have cut this out to be to be honest I could have just cut this out so yeah um and then so I guess what are some other details about this house um it has a so it has a garage with some woodworking stuff um it's got a laundry room with a mud room it is I can't remember how many bedrooms it is I think it's three but one of them has two beds i could be wrong about that but i think that's correct um there's also an office downstairs that i call the granny office i got mocked a lot for that office okay but i think it looks cute and like i think a granny would love living there so yeah anyways um you also see later that i end up putting a really ugly accent color in this house and i did that purposefully and i don't regret it i hate that color but I was trying to do something I don't usually do because, as you guys know, I've been building in The Sims for, like, well, maybe you guys don't know. But I've had this game since it launched. So I have used every single swatch in this game too many times. <laughs> so I was like, what are some swatches that I don't like that I can try using? And one of them was this, like, really, I don't know, it was, like, this green, like, yellowy green color that I don't really like. But it matched this painting on the wall that you can see right now in that, like, main um, lobby area. So I was like, okay, I'll just do that. I will make this based off of this specific painting. I don't really like the color, but maybe it'll turn out okay. And I don't know. I like, I like the build and like, I think the colors together work out okay. I just don't know if I would, I don't know if it's my taste, but like, I don't know if it's ugly. It's an ugly color, but like, I think I played it off okay. I don't know. You guys are gonna have to tell me down below when you actually see it. I don't think I've actually put it out yet. Or, like, you guys haven't seen the color change yet, but you will eventually because the color scheme changes massively. At first, I wanted this house to be really blue because I was thinking, you know, like, lake house vibes, water. Um, But I build a lot of things with blue in mind. So I was like, I don't want to do blue. I want to do something I don't usually do. So then I changed it to that green, this green color that used. it still hasn't shown up. But at some point it will and you'll know what I'm talking about when you see it. Yeah, so this is the mud room slash laundry room. I just had an entry from the garage because I thought that made sense. I feel like uh, mud rooms naturally come through garages. I don't know because I know that mud rooms also can be in the front door, but I just I felt like that'd be a weird spot because there's so many windows in that front side that I didn't want to mess it up and like add a mud room over there. So yeah, I just kind of kept that as like a formal sitting space instead. Um, I do add a car. Obviously, cars aren't functional, but I add a car inside. Um, the gym is, or gym, the garage is kind of multi-purpose in that sense. I always like making garages. No one ever makes garages in The Sims because obviously we don't have cars, but you can still do a lot with garages. So I always find it kind of sad when I watch like other Simmers and they'll like make the house, but then they'll not make the garage spot. And I'm like, but the garage would be cute. Like you could put a little fake car in there, you could put like clutter, like it could look like a real house, you know, I don't know. I really like garages. I think they're fun to make. So, yeah, um, now you can see a painstaking, painstaking process of, like, pushing all of this stuff. Because for some reason, things don't slot up here normally, or, like, in a way that I like. So I have to, like, all place everything. It's atrocious. 
But yeah, I don't know why my voice is cutting out. I'm scared. It's like 3 a.m. for me right now. So if I sound a little bit tired, um, it's because it's 3 a.m. I struggled. This path is so ugly. I change it later, but I have to tell you, man, this path is drove me insane. I did not know how to do it. I couldn't decide what it should look like. It was a terrible time. And then I placed a dino here. For what reason I placed a dino, I don't know. I think I get, well, I definitely do get rid of it, but I think I was showing it to Twitch chat and I just kind of kept it there. I promise you the dino goes away. Although I must say who wouldn't want a life-size dino in their uh, front yard? You know, it's like a nice decoration. Educational. Scary, menacing. It's like an angry scarecrow to scare off the neighbors or make them angry. So, yeah, anyways. Um, and this is the hall bath. I think it's the. I don't know why I made this a full bath. I think it's because originally this office was going to be a bedroom, but then I decided against it because I didn't know who to put there. Because usually. Like, if you have a bedroom downstairs, I would have thought to put, like, your parents down there because that way the parents are separate from the kids and they have, like, their own separate floor. Um, but the master bedroom upstairs is way bigger, so that's why they have a master bedroom instead upstairs. And I was like, I don't know what to do with this room. And that's when the granny office comes into full formation, as it's so nicely called because I've used it a lot of, I don't know, kind of older oriental stuff that you I guess like grannies would use I don't know I think it looks cute would I decorate my office like that probably not um but it's cute and I don't think there's anything wrong like what's wrong with a what's wrong with a granny office I don't know but yeah so you can see that we've kind of figured out the layout this layout took a long time to figure out but once it kind of came together it came together really nicely um, I really like this mirror and I'm so glad that I got to use it in this build because I feel like I never get to use it. It's just so big that unless you have like a very grand like front room or um, I don't know, just any room to place it in, it's kind of hard because it just requires so much wall space. And I just find that normal sized houses <laughs> don't have that kind of wall space. So I was happy to get to use that um, mirror this time and I think it looks really fancy and it's one of my favorite spots. I also really like cluttering front rooms for some reason, like entry rooms. It's my favorite thing. So I thought this was cute. And I like the fact that there's like a little water and there's like a little basket. You can put your keys in there, your phone case, whatever. Um, I would have put stuff in there, but I couldn't like raise it up to the right height. So I didn't end up doing it. But if I could have, I would have put like the key clutter from that everyday clutter kit in there. I think it would have been cute. Not that anyone would ever look down there, but <laughs> if they did... So, yeah, I also struggled with the aesthetic of this house. I didn't know if I wanted it to be more formal or more modern. So that's why we have two very different types of couches right now. The couches in the formal living room are very old looking because I think that's kind of what I thought I wanted. And I was like, even if it's a formal living room, you probably wouldn't have that old of furniture in comparison to this really modern like sectional. So I end up changing it later to be like a leather couch that's orange. Why orange? Because I use this yellow, or not yellow, I based everything off of this painting that um, is not living room. It's just Seasons painting, I think. It's from, yeah, it's from the Seasons pack, I think. So everything gets based off of that after a while. And it's, I don't know, I like the color scheme. Like I, again, I wouldn't do it, but like, I don't think it's bad. I don't know. You guys are going to have to tell me what you think. Like I said, I was trying to use colors I don't use, and I've used so many swatches in this game before that I was like, let me just pick a color, even if it's a color I don't particularly like, maybe it'll turn out good. And actually, I had a video idea recently to, like, base... Well, it's not a video idea. Lots of people have done it, but um, to, like, base builds off of one specific furniture piece and stuff that you don't like. And there's this rug. I think it's from... I don't know what that kit's called. It's like the max, maybe the maximalist kit or something. Um, there's this rug and it's a nice rug, but it has a couple of swatches that are like swirly and I hate those swatches. And so I kind of thought, what if I made a build off of those or even a room? I don't know if I'd make like a short, if I make a short, then it would be just room size. But if I make a whole build, then it'd be a big video. So I don't know. 
what I want to do with that, but I think that'd be a cool idea. Um, we're currently working on the kitchen. As you can see, we actually make this cute little coffee nook. I thought it was kind of cute to have a little chalkboard with like a fake menu type stuff. And there's this little shelving unit and it has like mugs all over it as if you're like an avid <laughs> mug collector. I don't know. I thought it was a cute idea. I don't do things like this very often in builds and I had the space for it because this kitchen is kind of massive. So I was like, why not make a cute little coffee section? It's kind of adorable. And there's some tea stuff as well because... There's a coffee maker and a tea maker. I think both are essential. I don't know. I don't drink coffee. Well, I don't often drink coffee. Like, I haven't had coffee in probably months at this point. I don't even know the last time that I had coffee, but I drink tea every day. So, I don't know. I don't like coffee that much. I like really sugary, really, like, toned down coffee, which is essentially just a sugary milk drink with like a little bit of coffee in it um but it's either that or it's really really strong coffee I don't know I'm like one or the other there's no like in between for me but I don't like coffee that much like I don't dislike it but I don't find myself being like I really want coffee it's just like a rare occasion if I'm like I really want coffee I don't know why though it's just not my thing I also don't like drinking caffeine and most of the tea I drink is decaffeinated so Maybe that's also part of it. I don't know. Um, The kitchen is very sleek and modern. I really, really like this kitchen. I was trying to, like, <laughs> size down this counter and make some sort of weird, like, built-in microwave thing. I don't think I ended up going through with it. I don't remember, but I tried. I thought it would be so cool, but I don't, I don't think I ever finished it. I think I delete this. I think I'd delete this at the end, but it looks cool. Like, look how cool that looks. I should have kept it. I should have kept it. It looks pretty cool. I hope I kept it. I can't remember if I did. I don't know if that's functional, by the way. I just did it for the aesthetics because I've always wanted to have, like, built-in microwave, which I still understand why we don't have that. Like, that's such a normal thing. I feel like most houses have built-in microwaves. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's just, like, what I've lived in, but... Every house that I've been to has, like, a built-in microwave and not, like, a microwave that you put on a counter. So, I don't know. Tell me, do you guys have, like, built-in microwaves or does yours, like, sit on a counter? This is when I struggle with the, uh, <laughs> aesthetics of this build. I'm like, I don't know what color scheme I want. Like, you can see me kind of cycling through rugs being like, I don't really know what, what would fit here, what would look good. Um... It's a whole, it's a whole ordeal. And then you find that I switched this rug. There's me switching into the, yeah. See, I, this is where everything starts coming together. I'm like, I need to change so many things about this build. At some point, the color, the, the wall color still hasn't changed. I'm kind of shocked that apparently I built a lot of this before I decided to change the color scheme. I think I changed it off, off um recording too i don't think i recorded me changing the color scheme so you'll just see it at one point i don't know i had like a midlife crisis with this build <laughs> i like came back to it after a month and i was like i don't like this color scheme it's too muted it's like something i would do all the time and so i end up changing it so yeah i guess i don't know it's just different. I, I don't know how else to explain what that color is until you see it. And you might hate it. And then you'll probably click off this video and be like, I cannot believe she used that color. But I did. Um, This is what I'm talking about with the gym right here. Originally, I put it in the garage because we had space for it in the garage. But I actually um had too many rooms in this build. I didn't know what to do with the rest of the room. So I was like, I didn't want to put a bed there. But I couldn't put another. Like, I guess I could have put another office. But I just felt like that's kind of useless. Because why would you need two offices in this game? Especially because each of the children also have their own, like, computers and stuff. So there's no real reason for you to have a second office. Unless it's, like, a library or, like, a skill building, like, art studio or something. But I don't know. So I just decided to move this whole gym area out of the garage later. And that actually becomes just, like, a clutter spot, I think. Or maybe I put the cat litter there because... I felt like this house would be really cute if it had pets in it, so I did end up putting some pet stuff down. I also, oh, I should have mentioned this earlier, I did not play test this build at all. Um, I don't usually play test my builds because my builds are huge and I'm lazy and I just don't care. 
if it's not working for you guys i mean there's no reason like don't get me wrong i built i build everything with the intention of it working but like sometimes you know you scoot something too close and it interrupts the pathing and stuff so that is really the only reason i say i don't play test my builds they're meant to be functional but again every once in a while something might get in the way um and then you know i just i don't care <laughs> enough to like go around and fix it because i build to have fun and just like make cool things and if you guys want to download them they're always on the gallery and it's not hard to like move something over if it doesn't work i do build like i i feel like i trust myself like i've been playing this game how long has this game been out six eight years or something like i feel like i should know the boundaries of how close something could be to something else so i think usually my builds should be pretty functional but you know again like i said i i don't double check it unless the build is small the build is smaller than i will but i just I don't want to play test every single bed and every single computer and every single skill building item and make sure every single pathing works because I'm like 90% sure that they're just fine. And if there is something that's maybe a little bit questionable, I sometimes check it, but I don't check the whole build. So that's why I say I don't play test. It doesn't mean that they don't work. It's just that I don't double check because I feel like I know that they'll work. So, yeah. Um, this is probably one of my favorite bedrooms that I've done in a while. I don't, like, again, the color scheme isn't something I would usually do, but I think it turned out pretty nice. I also really like that rock, like, salt lamp and stuff. Um, I would, I don't like salt lamps in real life because they shed a lot. My mom has one, and it, like, sits upstairs, and it kind of sheds every once in a while, and I don't like it, but they're cute, you know? They're cute. And then I have this little, uh, it's technically a wardrobe, but I used to kind of make a fake, like, makeup area for you to, like, get ready at. It's got that cool little mirror. I never use this mirror, but I think it's really cool, to be honest. I, I, I think it's cool. Like, I think the 3D effect, like, the double layer sometimes looks a little bit weird from certain angles because, again, it's a mirror in The Sims 4. I think it just looks a bit bizarre sometimes, but I do think the mirror is really cool. So I was excited to use that for once. Um... And I was excited to kind of use a different color scheme. I don't really use that bed color very often. I use that bed a lot. That is a really good bed. I think Season has some really nice items. They're not always my favorite. Some of them are quite ugly to me, but some of them are just top tier. That bed is one of them. That the bed is top tier men. So, yeah. And then we got the double wardrobe because two people living here. I presume a couple. So I gave them two separate closets. I also gave them a bathroom with a dull basin because i feel like as a couple that'd be nice to have i don't know if i'd want to share my sink with someone else um and i feel like it would save a lot of arguments about like toothpaste or i don't know whatever someone's being gross or clumsy or doesn't clean up after themselves and it's just like that's on your side i don't have to worry about it <laughs> so yeah they got the dull basin um there's a separate room for the for the toilet and then there's a really nice little shower bath combo area which i thought was pretty nice i wanted to make a really nice uh, bathroom so I did make this bathroom a little bit bigger and kind of make space to have some fancy stuff so that's pretty cool oh also the sinks are l-shaped like usually when I do dual basins I just kind of do like three counters and then have one in between or at least at least three sometimes four but this one I just like an l-shaped and had a corner piece so it looks pretty cool um it was just a way of me saving space because I wanted to have the doll basin like I feel like again for a master bedroom and a master bathroom you would have like a double basin but I couldn't find a way to fit everything that I wanted in like a nice order or like fashion like I wanted the shower and the uh tub area to be like within the same spot so that's why I ended up adjusting and moving things around um so yeah you can you'll kind of see what I mean when you look at this right now they've got the little l shape and i just felt like it kind of made nice little cubbies for the rooms i don't know why i felt the need to make sure that the shower and the tub were on like the same length and stuff and like in their own little separate area but i wanted it so <laughs> there you go that's why but yeah so that's that's basically this build in a nutshell um how are you guys i already asked this i think in the beginning but how are you guys what have you been up to are you guys excited for the new pack that's coming out I don't remember when it's coming out, but I'm pretty sure it's coming out very soon. <laughs> I don't, I can't particularly remember. Hold on, I have to move my mic for a second. I don't particularly remember the uh, exact date, but I know it's coming in March and it's already March 1st. So it must be coming out soon. 
Um, I honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I haven't looked at any of the news for it. I just know that it's called Growing Together. People have been relating it to generations, but I don't know anything else about it. I don't know if it's cool. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I think the world looked kind of nice. I saw some clips about the world and things like that, but other than that, I don't know what, I don't even know what's in that game. <laughs> I have no idea. I, I, I'm excited to see what it turns out to be, though. I'm gonna pre-order it so I can get the extra content as per usual, but, and I'll try my best to kind of put content out. I think for a while I used to be really, like, on it when it came to new packs. Like, I would do, um, you know, reviews, and I'd do, like, speed builds and playthroughs, or at least I'd attempt to do a playthrough. Usually I would get bored after the second episode and I'd stop doing playthroughs. Not because that says anything about the game, but that's just because I don't like playing in The Sims. I just like building in The Sims. I think that uh, also playthroughs are annoying to edit. I don't like watching back 40 minutes of footage and like trying to cut down to 20 minutes and stuff like that. It's just a pain all around. Although I have been thinking recently, like every once in a while, I go back through my like videos in this um, channel and I've always see the Dream Home Decorator Let's Play and I'm like, dang, I kind of wish that I did more of it because I actually like the Dream Home Decorator pack. I know that a lot of people don't, but I found it to be pretty fun. Yeah, it's a little bit glitchy and weird, but, like, I kind of liked it. So I've been debating going back for that. Um, I also have to go back and finish the Werewolf Let's Play that I started on Twitch. So I've been editing some videos so that I can get them ready for YouTube. And then once I finish those videos, I'm going to finish the Let's Play on um, Twitch. And then hopefully we'll start a new Let's Play. I kind of want to go back to the Smiley Legacy. You guys might not know about these things because I don't remember if I ever uploaded them. No, Smile Legacy was on YouTube, but I never actually uploaded a episode. I uploaded like an introduction, but the problem was I like lost all my VODs. I have no idea what happened to them because I had them downloaded. Like they all, they like automatically save, automatically save, but I just, they're gone. I couldn't find them anywhere and I was really butthurt about it for a while and I just lost all interest in playing the Let's Play. Also, my Let's Play glitched out because my main, like my heir, she died because she needed to work out, but she was an elder, so she couldn't work out, and so she like died working out, but she was gonna die from not- it was very annoying, okay, whatever was going on there, and then she like glitch died while running, like she didn't even actually die, the Reaper never showed up, she just vanished, she was just like out of the world, dead, and then the sun was morning, it was terrible, I was so upset, and I couldn't even go back and change it. If like I don't know if it auto saved or if I saved after like what happened, but I I like exited the game and I came back and she was still dead, man. She was gone and I was so upset. I was so mortified that she died because I wanted to like her bro. Her aspiration was so close to being done. She just needed to get one level done and she would have had it. And so I just I knew she was gonna die that day and I was like I just want to finish it and like grind it. I was mortified that she died. <laughs> So I stopped playing that Let's Play, but I want to go back to it. I also want to go back. There's a lot of Let's Plays that I've started that I've never finished. I want to go back to the, um, what was that thing called? Phases? Phases Let's Play that I started. I think I only got a couple of episodes out before I stopped playing it. But I do want to go back to them. It's just that it's a lot of work editing. And I find that I get bored and sometimes I get stale. I don't know. I just, it's weird because I do go through phases playing The Sims, like, on my own in my free time. And I'll, like grind out for like a week playing one family and then i'll get bored but let's plays i get bored of a lot faster than that i i, I get bored within like two days i'm like i've had enough i don't want to play anymore i don't know if it's the editing or why but it's weird i also love this bedroom by the way this was one of my favorite bedrooms to make i really liked that poster and i like the color scheme of it with the turquoise and the pink and the yellow and it's just very bright and I felt like it was kind of meant for a teenager, maybe like a tween. So I really like that room. And then here we've got two more bedrooms that are meant for kids. Um, And they're kind of, it's kind of a weird bedroom because they're obviously really big. And they're like overly stylized, you'll see. Because I kind of wanted this to show very two distinct personalities that just kind of got merged together. So like one side of the bed is very like techie looking. Um, They've got like this cool gamer setup. Um, I don't know. I just like darker colors pixelated geometric shapes and then the other side is like I kind of feel like maybe a little bit more youthful because it's got this blue color and it's got fish all over the place because I use those decals I think those decals came from the bathroom kit and I use those decals to kind of make a theme so this one I think looks a little bit more youthful as opposed to the other one 
so I keep saying so, but <laughs> as opposed to the other one, and um, I really like how it turns out. I kind of wish that there was more aquatic themed stuff that I could have put into this build, but I I ran out of stuff. Like I wish there was some sort of stuffed teddy bear or something that was aquatic themed. Unfortunately, really only aquatic stuff was these decals, so I kind of just had to play around the lighter color scheme with the blues and the greens um, for the rest of the build and like whatever furniture I picked out. And this again, like very computer geeky, like video games, um, Pokemon. Well, it's not, I don't remember what they're called um, in The Sims, but they're basically like Pokemon to me. So, yeah. But either way, I really like this room as well. I realize that it might weird people out because the two, they don't go together. <laughs> this is a very like mishmashed, but I felt like that's kind of realistic. Like you, kids rooms wouldn't match perfectly. And I also feel like if two kids were sharing maybe one room would be very different from the other side because they have to share their room and so they have like specific spaces and yeah I don't know I've never had siblings and I never shared a bedroom so but this is what I imagine it would be like <laughs> if you had like the capabilities of decorating a room this much I'm not sure how many people actually have their like childhood bedrooms that decorated mine was really decorated I have I told you about my childhood bedroom it was atrocious so I was really into, I think, Tinkerbell at the time, like Peter Pan. And so we based off my um, room off of Tinkerbell and Peter Pan. And we also did like some little, little mermaid decals and stuff like that. But it was, uh, I had the walls be half green and purple and it was, it, 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 it was a terrible decision, but I loved it when I was a kid. So yeah, anyways, we are reaching the end of the speed build here. You're about to get into screenshots. I really hope you guys like this build. Um, let me know what you think. I will... Oh, wow. You guys really don't see the change of color scheme until the screenshots. I'm so sorry about that. Um, but anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the build. Let me know what you think about that really ugly green color that you, you'll you see in the screenshots. And if you think the color scheme turned out okay or not. And I will see you guys hopefully soon. Hopefully I'll keep posting and we'll be consistent on top of it. At least with shorts or something. So... Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys have a good rest of your evening, morning, night, whatever it is. And I hope I hope I see you guys soon. Okay, bye guys.